today on the American Truck Podcast. Battle.net is changing. Firewatch is becoming a movie. Planet Coaster will allow you to crash your coasters. Riot is releasing a board game. And Paladins isn't an Overwatch clone. Hello and welcome to the American Truck Podcast with Andrew C. Ben Jefferson B. I'm somebody else. The mystery. He's the mystery uh, user. Yep. Uh, the, the good freelance is uh, sick today, so uh, he's not joining us, but hopefully he will be uh, better and we'll be back next week. Indeed, he is chilling because he is illin'. That is one going... way to say that. Indeed. Uh... There's a couple... yep. That's also another way to say that. Dr. Uber Shadow's not a fan. That's okay. The peanut gallery, well, they make fantastic butter. There you go. That's that's a spear. We should, or we could, or, or uh, shrapnel. It could also be shrapnel. Oh, I was gonna say we need to find like a butter sponsor now. That would be a funky sponsor. Dude, Epic Mealtime has bacon sponsors. We can have a butter sponsor. See, I feel I like think... a bacon sponsor is more practical. It doesn't need to be practical. It just, it would be our. We would get a sponsor for all of the butter that we don't use. Let's see, I, I, this is true true this would this would help to ease in as we as we start easing into conversation topics such, such as what a oh, what a oh, what a oh, what is happening to battle.net <laughs> i like that that was good uh yeah you can uh first off you can now change your battle.net battle tag uh which for a while for the longest time you had no way of doing that they were just uh nope you were stuck with um cutie pants 4286 girl if that uh, someone uh, made that as a joke for you and you just got you were just stuck with it all those uh, mistakes we made when we were 13 yep exactly uh, you now get your first name change for free so uh, you can get rid of any embarrassing name change for free and then after that uh, they'll be charging you ten dollars for every name change after that so try not to choose anything embarrassing the second time because Do it's going to cost you dearly uh, to change afterwards. Don't drink and tag, I guess. That's that's right. But um, but with that, it is. Uh, I I do need to say uh, rip to Battle.net because. Yeah. It, what is what is the story behind this? Like, what's going on? Uh, Blizzard decided that the name Battle.net is not very reflective anymore or necessary to describe the technology that Battle.net is. You mean how it's a network of people who battle one another? And it's a system that connects people together and is for updating games and whatnot. It, it, was, it, it was given this name back when, the, um, when Blizzard first came out. So like, when they started making games with, with um, I believe it was the original Diablo game. Uh, it was one of the first games that had a multiplayer experience. And as a result, you needed a system to connect your multiplayer people together um, and they said uh, back in 1996 uh, Blizzard said originally they felt uh, that they needed to give it a distinct name back when a tailored online gaming service together with your game was a more novel concept mm. uh, obviously today it's pretty straightforward you know you expect that games are going to have especially multiplayer ones are going to have some way of connecting people together with a friend system, perhaps, and you know, you saving of things and updating of your game. Sure. I mean, that's a, that, I feel like that is that is right now just a standard feature. By the way, can you just back off a little bit? Mm -hmm. uh, You're, uh, so slipping away from me. They're basically just renaming it. Uh, it's just going to be called Blizzard Tech now. Uh, the, the, okay. The wizardry that makes Blizzard games tied together. Okay, but the client itself. Is that going to stay just a nameless Blizzard client, or...? Uh, yeah, probably. Or they'll literally just call it Blizzard Tech. Who knows? Okay. Everything Might I ever be an saw with thing. it, you know, the name attached to it was Blizzard Tech. Right. Which is weird to me, but... It's yeah. definitely, it's definitely going to be something to get used to, but at the same time, I mean... If they want to do something a little bit more professional, Battle.net is a little bit dated at this point oh it's definitely dated um and i'm sure most people who play blizzard games are going to still call it that oh i'm sure at least just the because. the old guard right for sure exactly just because people that's what people are used to that's what mm -hmm. so um 
something new coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. One of the uh, one of those games that uh, never could have too much content. Uh, always good to have new things to do. Um, and they're adding biker gangs. Just what we hmm. always needed. Like 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 in the online version. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yes, GTA Online. It's like that. Gotcha. Point of that online. So online so it'll be it'll be real people joining biker gangs. Yeah. In, in a, a virtual game. world. Mm-hmm. Real people joining virtual biker gangs. That's that's a way to do it. Yep. Uh, yeah, you can start your own gang. Uh, that includes a clubhouse and a mechanic. And you'll be able to raise... Uh, this is how they wrote it. You'll be able to raise against other crews and partake in shady business ventures. I don't really understand the word raise there. Yeah, that's, that's a bit of a marketing ploy there, but... At the same time, I mean, it's 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 just one other way. Basically, it's a clan system, right? You know, for all intents and purposes. But it comes with things like free space, in theory, you know? at least. It, it may very well be instantiated space where it's like, it's it's the infinite elevator of many floors. It's probably also expensive. Like you probably have to have like startup cash and buy. You have to buy your biker gang or something. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. I didn't be, really. If, if it's free, it's, that'd be it, fantastic. It's. It was so coming soon that there was no information. You know, like it. it was like, hey, this is a thing coming. Hype yourself. And then, Working on it. You know, basically the, the TBD or T- TBC to be continued. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's yeah. kind of where it was at. So, so cool. Uh, yeah, so look forward to that coming. Uh, the Star Wars Battlefront Death Star DLC is a. Is like, a like fighting on the Death Star. Um. Uh, yeah, or I, I wasn't entirely sure. Like this is what it was called, but I, I, I wasn't too sure that it actually really included a Death Star. That would be very unfortunate. But it, it does include five new maps, so it's possible that one of those maps is the Death Star. And it would I, I would really hope so. But I don't know for sure. Or at least uh, a portion two, of the Death Star. Right. Uh, two new heroes: uh, Chewbacca and uh, Bosk. Uh, so those uh, those are going to be added to the game. Uh, there's a new battle station mode, and there's going to be more weapons. And they've also raised the level cap from 70 to 90. So, excellent. A a, 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 a long due, well, a, a a due, DLC. It updates the game, makes it better. Of course, uh, of course, indeed. Uh, and it's going to come with some you know things for people who don't buy the DLC as as always. You know, little updates to the game. So. Um, this is a thing here, Firewatch, a beloved story-based game, uh, is, is going to get a movie. Hooray! Uh, they said that, uh, they're in the process of coming up with a cast and, uh, figuring out what they're going to do with it, but, uh, they, they said, uh, this is going to be one of the many recent games to come out that will get a, uh, a movie adaptation. I mean, I'm hesitant, just because... I've heard so many great things about this game. It's on my to playlist, but at the same time, have we seen yet a good video game movie? I, I mean, Tron, I guess. It might be a stretch for. Well, it was first a video game. It still might. And be, then it became uh, a movie. Yeah. But I mean, that's it. That's all. Like any, like I said, that's like like you said. I mean, that's a stretch at that point. Mm-hmm. So I am genuinely not sure. Yeah, it'll it will depend on how it goes. I mean, mm. it, it it might be the kind of game that that like that is what you need to do to be able to make a movie. Right. You know, I, it, it is difficult to make movies on games. Yeah. So uh, that's all the information there there is. It's very early stages uh, with it. So ho- hopefully this is a this is a good movie based game. Game based movie. Game. Yeah. Right. That one. Yeah. That one. Uh, news that everyone I'm sure will be very excited to hear. Planet Coaster will allow you to build roller coasters that crash. Like in general, like into people, are we going to reenact some of the great moral quandaries of philosophy of old? Yes. Excellent. They uh, they even went as far as to make a quite epic release trailer, which shows 
in slow-mo a roller coaster running off its tracks and careening into a very packed pathway full of people hitting them that definitely and sounds like throwing them all into the air with facial animation and everything that definitely sounds like something we should be including a link to in the show notes absolutely so that people can make can definitely get their hands on on something like that oh yeah it was i, I definitely recommend checking out that trailer it was it was, it was great so it's, uh, it's, it fulfills what everyone wants is to be able to crash roller coasters into people I know I want that. Uh, and just uh, as a reminder, that game is available starting November 17th. So. Now, uh, something that uh, came out last week uh, as a thing, uh, Riot is making a board game. It's called Mechs vs. Minions, and uh, I know a lot of people are uh, finding this to be interesting. It definitely is. It's one of those things where it's set inside of the League of Legends universe, and features everything that everybody loves about a good board game including miniatures the board some dice a sand timer cards and a plot actually which is something that we're starting to see in the more modern board game iterations yep and they did say it is not a board game version of league of legends so it's i don't yeah i don't even know how you would one would do that but it, it is not that um, they said it does, I believe it does use some of the characters and probably some of the lore for the story, but that's about the connection it has. Mm, I saw some very early play footage of it, like of some guys playing the game, and it looks pretty awesome. I don't know if it's one of those things that people will get just on principle, because I'm not sure I would even want to necessarily buy a board game just because it comes from Riot. Right. You know? But I know I'm. Uh, if if it if it does actually gain some traction and gain some ground, might be one worth picking up for the uh, the old Friday night board game night. Yep. Yep. Indeed, and it's uh, available October thirteenth, um, and it's going to come for the uh, questionably high price of seventy five dollars. Is that high for a board game? I don't Modern know. Modern board games. That's actually pretty on par. Definitely. Uh, if you're definitely a fan of uh, board games like this, uh, you might want to check it out. It's going to be on the Riot Store. Uh, so that's that's where you. So like the same place you buy like hoodies and t-shirts and stuff. Yep. Yep. Same okay. Place. Um, I'm sure it'll probably end up being available in other places too at some point. But Amazon, man. Amazon would be where it's that at. Prime shipping. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Gotta love that free Amazon Prime shipping. Oh yes. Um. So uh, we talked about Paladins last week, and um, we, we, me, uh, Freelance, and Dr. Ubershadow, we played a bunch of uh, Paladins last week uh, on one day. Like, it was a couple hours that we played it. And, you know, we, it wasn't, it wasn't uh, too bad. Uh, there's a lot of repetition because it's a beta, and there's only, like, two maps right now. Uh, and, you know, you can definitely see where the game is kind of frustrating to play. Like, you get to a certain point, and then... It, you either are just gonna like get rolled or you're gonna win very quickly uh, and sometimes you're kind of like just stalemate out for a little bit and with that it's kind of it makes it kind of quirky but overall I thought it it, it the it's a very good game for people who don't own overwatch and I know freelance basically described it as a, the, the poor man's Overwatch. So, if someone who doesn't want to spend the forty or fifty dollars that it is uh, for Overwatch, they could play Paladins and be sufficiently happy with their experience. So. Now, of course, all that being said, we have a lot of new information this week regarding how it might not be a hundred percent what we initially thought it was. Yes, yes. There's um, the, one of the developers uh, from High Res went and posted a, a really long in-depth uh like kind of a uh, how we got here type uh post on on the paladin subreddit uh basically outlining how ex exactly pretty much how they got to releasing paladins as a game and uh, one of the things they said was that the what became paladins was actually at first it was kind of the combination of an older game of theirs called Global Agenda, 
which was a class-based shooter MMO, which was um, inspired by Tribes, City of Heroes, and TF2, and Tribes is one of their games as well, um, and that came out in 2010. And then it was the, the other portion was uh, Smite. They said that in uh, 2012 they started working on the game that became Paladins. And by the time Overwatch announced uh, was announced, they had already been pretty far along in the Paladins development cycle. And so they did a lot of testing trying to figure out if they could get it to be something different than Pal um, than Overwatch. But in the end, they just, everything that they tried resulted in the game not being what the players wanted anymore. You know, like it, it, no one really wanted the altered versions of the game. So then in the end, they decided that they would just release Paladins as they originally intended and just kind of deal with whatever came up about the comparisons to Overwatch. Basically throw it out and hope for the best. Exactly, and uh, they said that you know all their classes and abilities were originally created using Global Agenda and Smite as their template, and they went into some granular details about quantities of abilities that were originally in Paladins that came to another game, and then that were originally in TF2 and came to both games and whatnot. So I mean, it's definitely a a good post to read. Um, that would be something we probably want to link in the show notes as well. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I definitely uh, agree with that. Yep. Just took 100% damage right uh, in the face. That's not good. I was just told yep. my truck is running low on fuel. Ooh. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so that's Paladin. So we just want to really quick before we end, do we want to touch on Civilization VI and the new PC specs that we've got? Yep. Uh, it's surprisingly low specs for this. Uh, after last week, the Battlefield 1 specs were very high, um, which was unusual. Uh, these are kind of middle of the road. Uh, the minimum specs is an i3 or a Phenom 2, 4 gigs of RAM, AMD 5570 or an NVIDIA 450. Uh, and the recommended specs um, aren't all that high either. Um, fourth generation i5 uh, or an FX 8350 of the 4 gigahertz variety. Uh, and 8 gigs of system RAM, AMD 7970, or an NVIDIA 770. That is, that is definitely, I would, I would call, the, the mid-range ga gaming PC right now, although it's starting to become more low-end, especially as 10 series cards really start to gain traction. Right. And as we, now when's, what's the release date on Civ 6? Uh, it is October 21st, I believe. Okay, so it's it's definitely one of those games, especially as we go, as we go more towards Christmas and Black Friday, we will definitely start seeing that to be phased into the lower end. But that's great because it means people like myself are still able to play this game. Right. Exactly. I mean, yeah. With the 770 being the recommended, I mean, a 660 will do completely fine. Definitely. This, this is this is a laptopable game. This is design. Yeah. This is the businessman's, you know game that he plays while you know in in transit between flights you know this is this is the, the gateway basically the minimum gateway required to be considered a gamer at this point yep yep sure is uh but with that that's all we got for today i hope you enjoyed this episode of the american drug podcast uh, if you like this video make sure you hit the like button perhaps also hitting the subscribe button and maybe leaving a comment down below we will see you guys next week